So we have the SD Association and uh, this is the SDXC uh, spec which can in theory go up to 2 terabytes. Right. But uh, this is not, uh, I mean these are fakes right now. It right. goes up to here, right? This is just prototypes, yeah. Today the, the biggest card you can get is 64 gigabytes. And uh, how soon will they be 128, maybe? Um, we don't know for sure. It depends on the manufacturer. Usually within a year or so. Within a year. Already. So uh, yeah. how, how, can, how can they put that much memory in such a small card? That's a, that's a trade secret, I'm afraid. That somehow they figure out how to, how to connect everything together in a very tight space. All right. And the next generation over here is called the Next Step. And uh, there's no name yet for it? Well, no, there's no name for it yet. In fact, we just we just announced that uh, there's a new memory card design, and it's right over here. I can show you. The uh, these cards are going to have the new cards will have two rows of pins. So we're adding pins in the second area, and by adding the pins, it allows to get up to 300 megabytes per second bus interface transfer speeds. Nice. So you will have to need, of course, a new reader that can find the, the extra pins. Yes. So yes. it's in the reader and in the cards. Right, and it's fully backwards compatible. So it'll be applicable to SDXC as well as SDHC. Nice, so it's going to be exactly the same size. Yes, no change in the form factor of the card, just adding additional pins in the back. How, how did you decide to make SD cards this size? Uh, I, think that, I think back in the, uh, when we started about 10 years ago, they were looking at sizes that would work for, uh, for the different needs of devices, small devices like cameras and video recorders and things like that. So they found that this was the right size, and then the micro size is perfect for cell phones because they need something quite small. So what's the difference? Uh, I mean, a lot of devices now come with micro SD, like uh, portable device and all that. Is there a difference in price to have like a, a larger reader? Or is it just a question of size only? It's a question of size, really. I mean, it's whatever size works best for you and your equipment. It's not more expensive to have a li larger reader, right? No. Not really. And uh, the, the reader size, how much bigger does it have to be than the card? Uh, what? The reader. Like, this, the hardware to read it. So oh. How is it just, like, slightly bigger? Or is it, well, it depends. I mean, there, there, there's some examples of... Um, of, of readers here in terms of how, of how it appears on the device. But see, yes. there's one right there. So th you get an idea of how size it is. So it's just a, it's like a square. Just slightly bigger than the card, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be 300 megabyte per second. Yep. And how soon does it? Uh, will you announce more about it? Uh, we expect to have the full details of SD 4.0 available in the first quarter of next year. Nice. And uh, how many people are using this uh, this current uh, uh, generation? You call it um, HC? Yeah. Uh, HC was our last generation, uh, last standard. Um, it's very popular today. Uh, yeah. Manufacturers continue to introduce products using it, so it remains popular. It's, HC is very popular. How about yes. XC? 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 XC is going to be popular. Also, it's just, the cards just came out this year. So, and there's products. We've got a bunch of products on the display over there. They're all using XC also. So, XC is the future. So if you look just one second at the product, so the reason they use XC is because uh, they record a lot of pictures per second, the hardest work. Absolutely. You know, XC is the future for the standard, so it makes sense for them to be able to support any type of card, so they can support XC, HC, and regular SD as well. But on these, it's, it's not so important to have XC, no? Because, I mean, the bit rate that they were recording is not... Well, you know, High lots, enough. lots of people like have the convenience of having one card that they can use everywhere, and this gives consumers that convenience. Okay. But uh, when you get like higher spec stuff, uh, then right. they really, really can use the uh, higher bitrate, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, as, and what we find too is that as new devices come along, the cards are already ready to accept that type of capacity and speed. So it's prepared for the future. And every year and a half, the price goes down half. No, that I don't know. It's like the Moore's Law and stuff like that uh, maybe applies to land memory as well. Yeah, again, it just depends on what the card manufacturer's pricing and the market competition is at, at that time. Right. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome.